Agassi with the first set 6-4 in the first of the semi-finals. In the second semi-final, it's the British number one. Now, if you'd like to have your thoughts on that match, the Hemman Labadzi match, or the first set here, Agassi against Federer, you can do so. Get in contact here with us in the studio, text tennis, and then your message to 84401. That's 84401. Text costs 25 pence. Network charges may vary. So it's the first set that Roger Federer, the world number one, has dropped at this year's championships. How will he respond against Andre Agassi? Let's rejoin our commentary team. Is Peter and Bill. Well, we've had the benefit of a few statistics, and 74% uh, of Agassi's first serves have been going in. But is there another, even more important stat there? Yeah, I think the story of the first set was unforced Second errors. Set. Andre Agassi, two unforced errors in that entire first set. He has played flawless tennis so far. And Federer made three unforced errors on the backhand alone in that last game. Now we should expect some really tight, brilliant tennis from Federer now. The world number one. Fifteen. Yeah, Federer needs a couple of games here. Three or four first serves in. So it's easy. It's easy. Easy's path. Agassi's backhand in particular is really in good trim. Well, it has been all week. Has been all his life, I suppose. Yeah, perhaps the greatest backhand ever. 40, 30. Really, that's some tribute, Peter. I mean, he's not known for it as, you know, you go back to guys like Don Budge and Jimmy Connors. Um, but it is just outstanding. Well, that's uh, safe enough. A good start for, uh, for, for Roger Federer. One love. What is the secret of that backhand? It's the short take back, I suppose, is one secret, and therefore it's almost every time in the middle of the racket that it's a shot. Agassi, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's. Um, he generates so much pace with his his uh, body rotation yeah. that he can actually generate a lot of pace with a very short backswing, which allows him to, to hit the ball in the center of the strings time and time again. Yeah, with a good long extension after it. Yeah, a bit of good fortune for Agassi. The net cord made it quite simple for him. Oh. 
obviously stopped as though he'd been shot. He called it good. Just the fact that he is coming in, put pressure on Agassi. I think it's a, a tactic he needs to deploy a little more often in this match. He should be inspired to do just that after winning Wimbledon. likeness. today. Game Federer. Four one. And a good service game for Federer. Federer leads for games to one. Four one with a break. Want lasting style that isn't stuck? Pull out your studio. New studio line Invisigel from L'Oreal Paris. Create your own studio. Ultra melting texture glides instantly through your hair. Invisifix technology doesn't stick. Long lasting hold, no residue. Go out styled, not stuck. <laughs> New studio line Invisigel from L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. Agassi looking very, very fit. He has done all this week. Hasn't looked under strain. Mind you, his matches have been relatively short, but uh, Time. notwithstanding this uh, severe heat, it's got to be the clear air and the lack of uh, high humidity. This is home, Bill. Absolutely. Andre is yep. used to this heat and dry air. I guess he loves it too. I mean, uh, probably operates better in this sort of climate than, dare I say, England. So, still a break behind. And comfortably here serving down sun. 50 love. Been a very difficult shot, nearly brought it off. Fortuna. Intelligent serving. Yeah, 
and good serving, solid so first serves in. Two. two four. Well, that's probably not the news Andre Agassi wanted to hear. That new balls were coming up for the oncoming Federer service game. So Andre goes to change his racket. He will break out a new racket every time the balls are changed. Feeling that as because the new balls are quicker, he wants the tighter strung racket for just a little bit more control. Going through that ritual. Four two. Hasn't happened too often going behind the opponent. Fifteen. See the new balls help Federer there. Got it zipping through the court. And you see unable to time it properly. Fifteen. Well, he's sprinkling these doubles in, but uh, not really suffering a lot from them, except for that single game in the in the first set, which really was a sloppy game with a couple of doubles in it. Didn't seem to get balanced for that shot. His feet were still stuttering as he hit the ball. That was an impressive second serve. Yeah, no, not coping too well with the Federer serve then. I guess he. Federer at 5-2, and I guess if you judge a player by the quality of his second serve, Federer ranked pretty high. Absolutely. And of course, the thing that, that makes him not unique, but stands him out from the crowd anyway, is that he is able to do so much with the ball, on both on serve, on his back end, he can hit his serves with kick, with slice, flat, he can serve in volley or stay back. Off the backhand again, he can hit slices, top spin, top spin lob. I mean, there is not a shot in tennis that this man is not adept at hitting. But the most impressive thing about Roger Federer, I think, in his development is just between the years. He has really grown, and in years past, he might have been daunted by the fact that this man, Andre Agassi, had played a flawless first set. And, and was creating all kinds of problems. Federer has just hung in there and, and fought back. Do you think uh, Federer, I know he had Peter Lundgren for uh, most of his career, didn't he, uh, as coach? Do you, th do you think the fact that he hasn't got a coach at all now that, that we know of, do you think that affects him a lot or not? No, not at all. I, I think that uh, he's reveling in the fact that that he doesn't have a coach It's forcing him to take a little more responsibility and think about his upcoming opponents and how he's going to play against them. And I think that often can be a, a growth experience. He has talked about wanting to get a new coach sooner rather than later, but he's not going to rush it. <laughs> 